Well, hey everybody. Um, I guess I got something, something I need to talk about this afternoon. Something to get off my chest, you might say. Um, and some of you have asked me about it, um, and I have not responded because it's sort of a delicate subject, and I don't want to mess anything up, you know, either for me or for any of the other people who were who were involved in the project. Um, but let me just jump into it. I'm tried. I'll do the best I can. Um, this is this is important. So, Mike Seeger died in 2009, uh, and you, everybody here knows who Mike Seeger is. Uh, a real prolific field recorder, great musician. Uh, you know, how much more can I say about the guy? So he died in 2009. And when he died, he left behind him um, an unfinished masterpiece, maybe? An unfinished piece of work, a film, uh, called, uh, well, they're, they're, the working title is Mike Seeger's Banjo Tales, or Banjo Tales with Mike Seeger. Um, so Mike died before um, he was able to, to see that project through. And I encourage you all to look that project up. I'm going to link to um, a, a video of, that's on Mr. Yasha Aginsky's YouTube channel. And he's got a video there. Um, he's got the trailer for, for Banjo Tales. I want you all to, if you haven't seen it, go take a look. It's, it looks like a real nice film, a um, real good piece of work. Anyhow, so Mike died. He left the project unfinished. And for whatever reason, um, you know, it has never been completed. And guys, the reason I'm making this video this afternoon here in front of my barn with a, you know, hat in hand with my little banjo that I just made um, is I want this project to be out. I want it to be out to the public. People need to hear um, and see the music that, that Mike and his team were able to record. Um, I can give you some background. I know, and it was 2008, guys. 2008, um, I had just met one Matthew Kenman, a real prolific uh, guitar player, banjo player, fiddler, and singer from out Arizona way. Yeah, look up Matt Kenman. I had just met Matt Kenman, and Matt had been invited to travel up to George Gibson's house up in Knott County, Kentucky to meet with Mike Seeger and a, George and a, and a bunch of other musicians who Mike was going to record. And... Uh, Lucky for me, Matt Kenman needed a ride up there, and I had a I had a car, so uh, so he got me to give him a ride up there since I knew George and them anyhow. So I drove up there, up there with him, and wouldn't you know it, uh, Mike recorded a couple of my songs too, um, and this is for a Smithsonian Folkways project. So I was deeply uh, deeply honored, and I still am. You know that's a big deal. I will say briefly that was a, a lifelong ambition of mine. Ever since I started playing banjo, I thought, man, I would love to be, uh, have one of my recordings in the Smithsonian someday, like when I'm an old man or something, you know. So in 2008, I got to travel up to Kentucky with Matt Kinman and uh, met with uh, George Gibson, uh, John Haywood, Brett Ratliff, Jesse Wells, um, uh, probably a, a bunch of other people who, I, who, I don't, uh, who I'm forgetting right now. But I met with all those people and Mike Seeger and Yasha Aginsky and the recording team. And uh, they recorded everybody. And like I said, they even found time to record me. So, I mean, uh, I hope that I am I would be on this, uh, featured on this project as well, too. That would be really cool, I hope. Um, but anyhow, so guys, it's been 10 years. This We went up there in 2008. Um, Mike died in 2009. I'm filming this presently. It's, uh, it's May 2018. Guys, it's been 10 years since uh, Smithsonian Folkways uh, sent their team down there and recorded all these musicians. And uh, there's, there's absolutely been almost zero word about, about banjo tales since then. Uh, I know that um, uh, Mr. Aginsky has, he has a version of, of his own version of the film, his own edit that's... Uh, it's sort of bits and pieces that, that I guess he's he's got his own version of the film and I know that he has shown his film his version of the film um, at least one time it's been shown at, at Berkeley University out in California um, 
And as far as I know, they charged admission. They had a, que a question and answer panel afterwards um, where they had, they had, you know, people, they had some people there, I guess, from the film crew to like interpret our music for us. Um, and guys, I got to admit, a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people were, were offended uh, when they heard that, that they showed the film at Berkeley and they had a panel interpreting it, but nobody notified any of us. Nobody notified, George didn't know about it. Um, John Haywood didn't know about it. They didn't notify anybody, guys. And there's kind of, um, with these academic, um, these academics and field recorders and stuff, they kind of have a history of doing stuff like that. I don't want to get too deep into it and, and offend anybody. It's really over my pay grade. But, uh, so people were upset about that, guys. And, like, so we know there's a version of the film out there. I also know through other sources that the actual Banjo Tales film is completed. Um, the liner notes have been written. The music has been edited. The last I heard, they, um, they ran a couple years ago or three or four years ago, they ran into some trouble with some licensing of some of the songs that needed to be licensed that people played, and they kind of dropped it at that point. And I know they've had, besides Mike dying, they've had some other tragedies up at, up at Smithsonian Folkways Records. They've, they've lost a couple people who were working on the project. So I know that they've, they've taken some hits too. Um, but guys, we've got, we've got to get this project. It's got to be seen through. It needs to be out in the public. This is the property of the public, okay? Smithsonian Folkways is there to record the people's music and make it available to them. So this is, you know, this is public property. This is the people's property, right? And it has been sequestered and locked down and forgotten on a back shelf somewhere at the Smithsonian, as far as I've been able to deduce. And I've tried to track it down. I've talked to some people down there as recently as last year, I think. So they have everything, guys. They have banjo tales. They have the CD, they have the DVD, the liner notes. It's ready to go. But they're just, they've got too many other, they're, they're focusing on other projects. I think it's because Mike is dead. And, uh, and it doesn't seem like anybody up there cares anymore about about his work, his legacy. They damn sure don't care about George Gibson and Matt Kinman and John Haywood. Um, so anyhow, I, I don't want to get bitter about this. I want this project to be completed. I want to be a part of it. I would be honored to be a part of it. It's got to get done, and I don't know what else to do. I have contacted Folkways. We numerous, you know, others have contacted them. I've, I've sort of asked, people have asked me about it, and I always respond, hey, if you want to see it, contact Folkways. Um, you know, contact the Smithsonian Folkways uh, people and tell them you want that thing done, but to no avail. So guys, I'm, I'm putting this video up here to the trailer, uh, to Yasha Aginsky's trailer. Go watch it if you haven't already. And uh, don't bother Yasha. I don't think he's really involved in, in the Folkways side of things anymore. Um, get on Smithsonian Folkways. That's, if y'all can do one thing for, for the banjo, you know, for America's instrument, uh, send an email to Folkways. Hell, give them a call and politely and cordially ask them what's going on and, and let them know that you are an American citizen who, who is really interested in seeing Mike Seeger's final contribution uh, to, the, to the folk music world, right? This was Ma uh, Mike's final work, his final artistic contribution. And it's sitting on a shelf somewhere. Um, that, or it's only been um, allowed to be seen by a few elites um, over at Berkeley University. That doesn't sit well with me. This is the people's instrument, the people's music. And, and Mike Seeger was all about bringing that music to the people, you know? I'm sorry I'm getting a little impassioned about this, but it's been, it's been keeping me up at night. And it's been eating away at me for 10 years. 10 years, guys. Longer than this dog's been alive. It doesn't take that long to license a few songs, you know. Guys, let's get this project out. Every time I see a record come out of Folkways, uh, a wonderful collection of, uh, you know, South American folk songs for children, or, uh, uh, you know, Dom, Dom Flemons just put out a great album on Folkways recently. Um, you know, I see they even had some other random, I don't know, random, they had some other band, a banjo player guy, a banjo player I'd never heard of. He has an album on, on Folkways now, you know, and it's just like, 
what about Mike Seeger? What about Mike Seeger's final contribution to Folkways Records? Um, as far as I know, his final contribution to the human race was this project. You know, like, it's very important. And again, I don't want to offend any of, of Mike's relatives or friends. Um, I don't want to offend anybody at, at Smithsonian Folkways. I love y'all. I've, I've bought almost every record you ever put out. You know, I love it. But please, please, let's get Mike Seeger's Banjo Tales released out to the public. Um, there's a lot of good musicians um, who would like to see some, who would like, who could use the recognition and the notoriety. I mean, it's not just me. It's all these other musicians that were involved. Um, they need royalties from this. You know, um, this this could be a hit. Folkways could make this record a smash hit. Uh, it could win a Grammy or something, and they could take us all on the road, and make a bunch of money, um, and and bring the banjo to all kinds of new audiences. Guys, please contact Smithsonian Folkways Records um, and let them know that you want to see Mike Seeger's Banjo Tales released as soon as possible. They need to make it a priority. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you all for your your contributions. Um, and your support and uh, you know you have changed my life since I started going full-time with with this so thank you all please contact Smithsonian Folkways and help us get this this record this this it's supposed to be a DVD and, and CD set help us get this stuff out to the public Mike Seeger's Banjo Tales check out the link I'm gonna put up here and down in the description section alright thanks again guys over and out <laughs>